Hey, this is Rob Onspach, and welcome to another edition of eHeroes. Today, I have the amazing Donna Kretsch with me. She's going to teach us how to breathe. Now, honestly, we're going to learn about the disruptor philosophy. <laughs> well, there are times in the disruptor philosophy, you have to remind yourself to breathe, right? Okay. Um, but you know what's funny, actually, um, in the disruptor philosophy? You gotta be the one, you have to realize you're the one who's telling everybody else to breathe. Mm -hmm. Look, there's a solution. This was so cool, Rob, this conversation you and I were having before we started recording, because there is a solution. You cannot let yourself believe there is not a solution. You're an entrepreneur, or at very minimum, you're a business leader, and, and you, which still makes you an entrepreneur because you're smart enough to know that you're in charge of your own business, generating your business, keeping your business going. And the disruptor mindset is look, there's a solution. It's going to be all right. You might have to pivot. I know we're all tired of that word, right? <laughs> you may have to get creative and realize there's a solution and create it and produce it and act on it. But there is a solution. It is not that we need to lay down and die. And it is not that we should stop business and wait for crying out loud. That's the, that's the opposite of what we should be doing. So what is disruptor? It's somebody who goes against the norm. It's somebody who goes against the standard, somebody who goes against the average. Well, right now what we're hearing is the average is that 75 to 80% of people are still scared. Yeah. I ain't scared and I'm not gonna be scared. So we've got to, that's disrupting. That's to say, hey people, take a breath, step back and start either creating solutions or finding people that have them or getting with people who can help you create them because when you can't breathe, you can't think. And if you can't think, you can't create. Mm -hmm. So you've got to step back and realize there is a solution. There are a lot of businesses, many of ours, many that we lead, that are doing better, that are record-breaking right. right now because they've disrupted. They've said, we can't keep doing it like that. We're going to start doing it like this. Let's get loud. Let's get the word out. And it's working. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm busier than I can be right now. And and I can always bring in more work, I hire more people, but <clears throat> there's a lot of, lot of entrepreneurs that are scared. And I don't get it because you started this business to create yourself freedom, to have a business, to, to make money, but now you're scared because you're afraid you might lose a license? Doesn't make sense. Well, so let's realize human nature, unfortunately, Human nature is to be fearful. Human nature is to be the victim. Human nature is to think something's been done to me. And we can also come to that. But the people who really win, the, the people who survive and thrive are the people that say, okay, that's fine. I had that thought for a minute, fine. <laughs> now, where's my solution? Um, I mean, my gosh, I know we don't need to get into a governmental, political, uh, bureaucratic conversation here, but you know, the Constitution of the United States says nobody can shut me down. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that we have higher ups threatening loss of license. So people are afraid of that. But even that, there's a creative way to do everything. I mean, the one thing I did, Rob, when all this started, uh, we practiced it ourselves. So our main client is a client that serves wellness and weight loss and health folks, right? Mm -hmm. Now, we serve them as well online. So we have what I call the end user offering, and then we have the business offering that serves the end user, okay? So what everything I told them to do, we did with them because they're our customer. Mm -hmm. So the one thing I would say, and, and my gosh, guys, if you are within the sound of our voice right now and you haven't done this, for heaven's sake, do it. We said to them, get loud, get in front of your customer and get in front of your customer constantly. And by the way, we have this neat little thing now called social media, get in front of your whole community constantly, be there all the time with your solutions. Sometimes just provide hope, some positive stuff, some funny stuff, but educate them as well, right? Entertain, empower, equip to make a decision, educate. So we turned up the volume on our time with our customer. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, in, in our company, this may not be right for everybody, in our company, uh, we decided to start leading a devotion. Uh, so I lead a devotions with Donna three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I lead devotions with Donna. We open that up even to the customer of our customer. So that end user, 
right? Uh, every Monday we added what we call a master class. And it's, it's a master class on being your best you. It's a master class on mastering your mindset. It's a master class on having an amazing marriage. I mean, I've brought in a lot of different experts. Uh, you and I both know those experts are pretty dang easy to find. They're not mm -hmm. that tough. So we have a master class that again, not just for my customer, but the customer of my customer. So we're providing hope, we're providing solutions. Um, once a week, I'm doing a very tactical training and an inspirational empowerment talk, if you will. Um, I mean, today we had everybody cracking up because I picked up my phone and acted like it was a mirror. And I said, all right, you guys get to watch me talk to me. And I said, look, Cratch, you're, you're a little out of whack right now. And they were just cracking up. So, but it was real. I mean, it's like I teach from my own life. It's what I've always done. So I would say, get in front of your people, get in front of them more, uh, as much as you can, um, empower them meaning give them some inspiration, give them some hope. Yes, educate them, remind them of your information and tie it into what they're going through. I mean, just tie it into what they're going through with all this. Everybody's stressed, everybody's yeah. stressed. So if you have something that helps eliminate stress in any capacity, financial stress, relational stress, physical stress, spiritual stress, if you have a, a, any answer for any stress and really any business does, right? I don't care if you're a, a computer software guy that fixes computer software you can help eliminate business stress mm -hmm. so i mean it i'm just saying i think we have to meet people where they are um granted we have to acknowledge reality and reality is 75 percent is what we're being told of the people are still afraid to go out they don't want businesses to open so you know early on I told my folks, all right, look, I'm gonna teach you how to go virtual. It was not hard, it was very easy to teach them how to go virtual. Uh, we have products that we sell as well. So I taught them how to do curbside, curbside pickup. Mm -hmm. uh, and, but, but I went through the whole process of what's essential. Well, here's the thing, our program, our products and our coaching allow a person literally this is what it does pre-COVID to reduce the effect stress has on the body. Well, when you would reduce the effect stress has on the body, you balance out hormones, you put them to baseline. Well, when you put hormones to baseline, it isn't uncommon to lose 20 pounds in 30 days without hunger, without any muscle loss. But the thing is, your blood pressure becomes normal. We've seen diabetes reversed. A1C drop, people going off of insulin. Uh, their, their vision is repaired. Their acid reflux is gone. Their digestive issues gone. Um, night sweats, hot flashes gone. Irritability gone. Sleeping problems gone. Well, because it's crazy. It's unbelievable, but it's real. Well, because of those benefits, I said, guys, here's the thing. If you were to stop coaching your member or stop providing the programs or the products, they're going to go back to that. Uh, I think that makes you essential. So our places, not all of them, but almost every single one of them stayed open, but they made it available to the member, to the customer. If you want to do only curbside or virtual, we'll honor that. If you want to come with a mask, we'll honor that. Of course, we'll maintain keeping things clean and six foot distance. I think, Rob, what people need to realize, what entrepreneurs need to realize is what you and I were talking about before we started recording. You can be that business. You don't just have to be somebody who's put someone's blood pressure back into perfect condition again, like us. You can be the business that's essential. Just empower your customer to, to know that you will meet them where they are and do things the way they want things done. So yeah. it, it, you, you don't have to stop. You don't, you don't have to stop. I would say that another thing we've done, which really, really kicked in our marketing even more is we have created very simple images that we post on social that our client posts on social mm -hmm. they can use them for, for facebook ads but they're they're posting them mm -hmm. and then they're putting some text message with the post which is creating a lot of dialogue mm -hmm. and that's what you want and when i say be loud and be out there you want dialogue you want people having conversations with you talking about you and, you know, there have been a lot of benefits. There have been a lot of positives come out of this. And that's one of them. People mm -hmm. are on social media like crazy. So they'll oh, yeah. see you if you're there. Yeah. You know, and, and everybody has a phone. So why not start doing live video? You know, it's, I, I know so many people who were reluctant 
but it, the moment they started doing it, they would do one a day. You know, after 30 days, their business started increasing. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, interestingly, we, in talking about our business, and of course, testimonials, right? Testimonials, testimony, no matter what you do, keep your testimonials out there. I mean, even perish the thought if you are closed, keep your testimonials rolling because mm -hmm. the moment things are open again, you'll be the person they think of first. Right. So keep the testimonials out there and do lives. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a weekly check-in. It's a group check-in. So now it's a virtual group check-in mm -hmm. for the ones that want virtual. But even with those check-ins, we did something that I wasn't completely sure was a good idea at the beginning. And we took our check-ins, which are members only, we took our check-ins and went live with them. Wow. We've got more leads. I mean, I mean, I have locations that are again breaking records pre than they than they set pre-COVID. Mm -hmm. And it's just because they've kind of pulled back the veil and they've said, look, we're all in this together. So we're gonna share with you any information we can share with you to help you. And it's marketing. I mean, we have people during the check-in that are saying, well, how do I do this? How do I get involved with you guys? Uh, right on the screen, right? Or they're, or they're sending a, um, a personal message, private message saying, how do I do this? So I think if we become transparent, if we're willing to share, if we're willing to teach, and I think it's okay to say, look, we only typically do this with our customer, but we're all in this together. This is a time that I've never seen in my lifetime, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. And if we all come together, we get through it. And I don't mean that in some kumbaya kind of way. I mean that in here are real solutions, right. right? Like what I said to my folks today in our meeting is I said, look, it's time to live again. Mm -hmm. It's time to live again. Instead of buying into the world, telling us we should be terrified and we're gonna die, it's time to live again. And I, and I'm not, look, I'm not saying the virus isn't real. And, and my heart is heavy for people who have lost their lives. I'm saying that we can't freeze. We can't stop. And we can't succumb to this, this fear that's out there because, well, we're not breathing. Right. Therefore we can't think we can't create, we can't keep our business going. And we certainly can't achieve the time, money and freedom goals that we had when we got into business. Mm -hmm. Right. So when I say it's time to live again, I said, look, let's list the positives. I would tell people there are positives that have come out of this. Some, some families never sat down at the dinner table together. They're doing that. Um, some people never, never did share time in prayer or, or devotions. Okay, now it's not everybody's thing, but it's my thing. And right. some people never did it. And a lot of people are now doing that. Uh, some people never worked on their goals. A lot are doing that. Some never did any kind of fitness at all. Now they got virtual access, so they're doing that. Um, people are yearning to be with other people. So things maybe that they took for granted before, they're not taking for granted. People are looking forward to getting back to work. That's a positive, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, churches, oh my gosh, churches were closed down. Some churches that were seeing 300 people in their sanctuary are now seeing 4,000 people because they went virtual. I mean, I yeah. can just uh, I can and, and the, th the thing about churches is that, you know, some of us, you know, I, I've always gone to a Christian church, but now I can experience other people's churches and see what they're doing, kind of what their ceremony is and 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 because it's all online. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. so now I'm, I tell I'm people getting all the time, I go, yeah. it's one of my favorite things. Like, I go to four churches on Sunday morning. <laughs> four of them. And it goes Sunday. <laughs> well, right, right. Um, so, again, I, I, I'm going to state this because it, it bears repeating. Mm -hmm. I, guess it's a, I guess it's a disruptor mindset, but it doesn't feel like a disruptor mindset. It's just the way I think. I, I said, look, stop the freaking madness. Yeah. It's time to live again. You could be succumbing to this nonsense. Hey, I go through my moments, trust mm -hmm. me. Yeah. When I'm scared or I'm victim or I'm, oh no, what's gonna happen? How are we gonna do this? And you just can't. Yeah. You have to step back and say, what is the solution? Now, like I said, I already gave one. People are stressed. Yeah. So take your answer to what we did. Now we have a stress, I mean, we literally have a product that in two days, you have a feeling of calm come over you. So magnolia herb, no side effects, no addictive tendencies. It's so we have a product that we can give people. 
Oh, that's one of the things that we did actually. Uh, oh, give me a second. Give me a second. I can stress less. Yeah. I can stress less.com. And we gave them, we said, Hey, this product is free, totally free. We are going to give you this product that within two days, you're going to feel <sighs> breathing again. Uh, then we're going to show you all these kinds of other ways that you can reduce stress in the body so that you drop this weight easily and you get rid of these health issues and feel amazing. So we gave the product, but you don't have to be us. You can answer a stress question, a stress problem with what you do. You, you can do it. So that's one of the things I would tell people to do that we did. Now, another thing that we did, which is a little more specific to wellness, I guess, um, most people were buying us for weight loss because that was entering the conversation going in somebody's mind. They didn't expect the, you know, they're not going to feel any inflammation in their body ever again, or sleep is going to be perfect now, or blood pressure is perfect, or going off prescription drugs. They didn't really expect that. They came for weight loss. Well, when all this happened, guess what? Nobody really cared about weight loss. They were eating comfort food and drinking comfort drink. Um, and double whammy, my main client is a health club. Mm. Uh, you know, the ones that are closed all over the nation. So I reached out to my client said, okay, here's one of the turns we're gonna make, one of the pivots. People want their immune system better. So we created the Immune Builder Bundle and said, look, let's at least take these products so that your immune system can be climbing. Um, and again, let's show you how to get these hormones back to baseline so your body isn't under stress, so that your immune system can be strong. So again, I, you know, I'm pretty creative with this stuff. I could probably talk to any business owner, even if they're not in the health space, and show you how to increase somebody's immune system because you're reducing stress. And when you have high stress, you have high cortisol. And when you have high cortisol, your immune system is suppressed, repressed even. So if you reduce somebody's stress, financial, relational, spiritual, work-related, physical, if you reduce somebody's stress, you're actually helping to build their immune system. Yeah, you know, and, and uh, you know, for me, you know, I, I, I was high into stress, I guess about a year ago which then elevated my blood pressure. Huh. And, uh, you know, I, I started looking at my internal business, my systems and how I do things. And, and um, you know, granted, I sit a lot for, for my job for, you know, cause I'm working on people's websites and, and, and SEO and writing their books. And, and uh, I realized that uh, if I just get up every so often, you know, for 15 minutes and whether it be walking or doing something and I come back to my desk, I feel more, rejuvenated my stress actually lowered my blood pressure lowered mm. um you know I, i'm not working eight hours a day now i'm working six and i'm actually <laughs> making more money now than i did before nice. and, I, and i'm not stressing over it yeah yeah mm. it's easy to say gosh i need to get my stress under control but not a lot of people know how to do it right. um movement is like your point movement is certainly one way uh we created another offering we've created a lot of free offerings during this mm. time so I'm, i really am doing what i'm teaching people how to do right. and one of our free offerings was a stress less checklist and again we created a page for it right so that was at stresslesschecklist.com i just had an idea rob i could make that available to any business that wants to offer it to their customers or their community uh, because I'll tell you the, I'll just tell you the process. It's not a full funnel give. It's just a give. Mm -hmm. So there's a stress less checklist that's got five immediate things you can do. Five steps to immediately see a reduction in stress in your body, and uh, they're all applicable and they're check offs, right? So so a person can apply whatever they read from that checklist, and at the end, it makes the offer for the free Relora. So it's free, free, and again no funnel it's just free free so the stressless checklist is at stresslesschecklist.com uh if you or anybody that's uh listening to us right now wants to go get that and then reach out to me if it's something they want to offer to their members or sorry to their customers mm. it's not anything we've done but it's so generic it could easily be done um mm -hmm. it's even customizable actually we had it editable so wow. it could even be something that they could give to their customers or like i said on social media i have the image created for it so they could give it to their community 
and the offering at the end of it is free this free product mm -hmm. so i mean it's a way that maybe if if someone listening to us can't think of a way to help somebody reduce stress we we could help them do that um yeah. we didn't talk about that before it just came to my mind right now so i hope that's okay oh that's fine i mean i i think a lot of my listeners uh not only want to be able to breathe, but they want to be able to have less stress and, and free is always a good thing too. Yeah. Um, I, I just, I, one of the things though, I, I think that the listener has to realize is that, you know, we can entice people with free and that's great, but I don't want people taking advantage of others and saying, well, in this moment of crisis, I want you to lower your price to me because I don't want to pay full retail. Mm -hmm. And, and we as entrepreneurs, we still have bills. We still have things that we have to pay for. And so, but when customers do that, it just kind of irritates not only me, but I know it irritates a lot of entrepreneurs out there. Uh, any ideas? Value, 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 value. People, again, there's this, this thing that clogs your brain called fear. And People don't know quite how to function if life wasn't like, you know, quote unquote, normal, like we were right. used to that record spinning on that turntable, normal, normal, normal. People don't know how to pivot. They don't know how to be a disruptor, right? Mm -hmm. So they're fearful. Well, I think then your products, your programs, your offerings, your services, you've got to get loud about what those are because before people just just said oh i need that and they went and got it and now they're calculating and they're not just calculating what they're spending i don't think they're calculating what they're spending as much as entrepreneurs might think they are i think they're calculating the cost of the fear yeah. i think the fear is what's kind of suffocating their mind so i think if you get loud with all that you offer and, and if you need to then offer higher value but right. but maybe things that well, preferably things that really don't cost you money. Like we created the stress less checklist. Once we created it, we can give, 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 give. It shows that we're, you know, the stress less experts. It's a higher value and it doesn't cost anything. So mm -hmm. I think the more information you could put out there to help your customer and your prospect, even if it appears to be um, a, a do it yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's something they could plug in without you they'll come back and they'll think of you. Um, I don't think that discounting right now is the solution unless you are already going to a highly qualified, highly targeted group that you know is a group of buyers and you can make up what you discount in volume. Right. You're not discounting because of fear, but discounting strategically because you know you're already talking to a group of people who are already buyers and well, the lifetime value you already know is so good mm -hmm. that bringing them in here to just get them going on the lifetime value. We, we literally just offered this. Uh, we said to our clients, uh, reach out to your customers, start first with the people. Oh yeah, this is good. I need to share this. Start first with the people that are giving you the most money right now because mm -hmm. they're the ones most inclined to give you more money they like working with you they know you they trust you they're already investing in you they're already seeing benefit so go first to the people that are giving you the most money right now and offer make this offering to them second go to the people that gave you some money and i know this is not all about money i'm just being very direct right now yeah. okay i mean obviously it's about more than just money go to the people who gave you some money and market this to them and then lastly, go to the people who thought about buying what you had, but did it because they are already in the brain space of what you had was good, as opposed to marketing hard for the new business. Now, I didn't say don't be loud. I said, be loud. And I said, put your message out there on social, in email, even via text, you know, to your prospects and on, on social, it's to your community. So now that's a whole world of prospects. Right. What I'm talking about right now is you could see some significant income by marketing to those three groups in that order, because believe it or not, and this is proven, the person investing the most money, the most time, the most energy, and the most effort with you is the person most likely to invest more money, time, energy, and effort. It's, it's, and it won't be changed during this time because like-mindedness sticks together during this time. 
right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I said earlier, Rob, that there are a lot of positives that have come out of this. Well, there are negatives too. Mm -hmm. And one of the biggest negatives is the stress. Yeah. Whether you say fear brings stress or stress brings fear, or however you want to say it. And I think if, if each one of our entrepreneurs listening to us will figure out how they can help solve that, mm -hmm. you've got a positive, a negative, and a positive. There are positives that have come out of it. There are some negatives. How can I be a solution for those negatives? And if, if you are addressing it that way, the people who are the decision makers, the action takers, right? The, the 20% that aren't kind of wigging out right now, they'll respond to you. Remember that, you know, when we target, right? When we do target marketing, we're, we're all pretty accustomed to what that means. Is it a woman? Is it a man? Do they own a business? Do they not? You know, what are their psychographics, demographics, geographics? We talk that language in marketing. Mm -hmm. I think right now it's pretty smart to target the people who you know aren't afraid. Right. Well, who do we who do we know isn't afraid? The people that are functioning. So the business owners, the teachers, the nurses, the doctors, any health practitioners, the police officers, the firefighters, uh, the retail workers, like like people, the people who are least likely to be afraid are the people who are most likely to implement and take action. They're the ones that are doing life right now. Mm -hmm. That's who I think you really target if you're going to go target more of a cold prospect. Right. You know, and, and, and the, the people that, that are afraid uh, usually don't have any money anyway. <laughs> no, and they don't want to spend it if they have it, right? right. So, yeah, I, I mean, target the people who are going to invest in themselves. The, the people who are out there doing life and doing business, they're functioning. They're more likely to do something for themselves, for their business, for their family, uh, you know, for their, for their finances, whatever, you know, whatever it is that you offer. So where can the listeners go to find out more information about you? Oh, uh, well, gosh, you know what? Uh, yeah, you could certainly go, I guess, to DonnaCretch.com to find out about me, but I'm kind of the least important thing right now. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's say that, you know, the stress less checklist, um, I can stress less.com is a good one. Cause that gets you that free product. Um, and it also is going to show you all these other ways to reduce stress in your body so that you can, you know, balance out the hormones, 20 pounds, 30 days, no hunger, but all these health benefits. I mean, blood pressure probably is a pretty common thing right now. That will get normalized based on what all the customers that we've had. And I mean, I'm talking at this point, you know, a million that we've helped. So it's a good number. Um, if somebody has a wellness related business uh, or has dreamt of that, we can be reached at uh, at a million dot com fit biz stimulus f i t b i z stimulus dot com. So I mean it. You know we're we're here. We're here to help in any way we can. If you have a related business to us, great. If you don't, um, by God's grace, I'm pretty good at this stuff and I enjoy it. It gives me energy to to create tie-ins and figure out solutions for people. So I'm here. I'll help. And you got a lot of websites. <laughs> so I'll, I what I'll, I'll put one or two of them down below. And those people don't, who are, don't put Donna Kretz. She's the least important thing right now. <laughs> so don't put her. <laughs> we got to help these people. So don't put me. It's not about me. Don't even put that one. I'll pick one. Won't be Donna Kretz. Okay. But okay. You guys can go there. <laughs> So yeah, well, anyway, yeah, that, that's yeah. what that's what makes Donna an e-hero. She it's not always about her. It's it's about helping you guys breathe, like we said. It's about helping you to disrupt, and and helping you get uh, healthy. So you know, visit her at at DonnaCratch.com or <laughs> all the other ones. Okay, look, wait. If you want one that is more generic, it's 2030 Fast Track, 2030FastTrack.com. That will help folks have information about the program. So, still not about me, but it isn't just a stresslesschecklist.com. So, yeah, we have a lot of them. Uh, yeah, make an offering, people. Give stuff away and slap up a landing page so people can go find it easily. And there you go, folks. We'll see you on the next episode. Hey, this is Rob Onspock. Check me out at onspockmedia.com.